Hello everybody, I am Tadashimori and in this video here, let's talk about the Husita Hattori Origami Axioms. When we talk about constructability with folds, the first thing we gotta find is what kind of operations can we do with paper folding? As you may find in Robert Lang's website, there's a list of constructions made by Husita, Hattori and Justin. The constructability question goes way further than what we could possibly cover in this video. So let's just talk about the seven axioms. Starting with points and lines, we can map the constructions like this. You can make a fold that places a point onto another point and a line onto another line. If the points and lines are not coincident, the first construction has one solution and the second construction has up to two solutions. Okay, but there are constructions with infinite solutions, so they basically give you a set of possible solution folds. First, a fold perpendicular to a line, let's call the solution set A. Second, a fold that passes through a point, let's call the solution set B. And third, a fold that places a point onto a line, well, let's call the solution set C. Now, we don't want constructions with infinite solutions, so to limit the solutions, let's make the intersection of the sets. So let's start with A intersection to A line, a fold perpendicular to two lines at the same time. Well, this intersection is not good, as A intersection to A line equals A, or A intersection to A line is empty. So let's discard this construction. Now, A intersection to B, a fold that's perpendicular to a line and passes through a point. This intersection gives only one answer, so let's map this construction. A intersection to C, a fold that's perpendicular to a line and places a point onto another line. This intersection gives a single solution when the lines are not parallel, so let's map this construction. B intersection to B line, a fold that passes through two different points at the same time. This one is a simple construction with one solution, so let's map it. B intersection to C, a fold that passes through a point and places another point onto a line. This intersection can have 0, 1 or 2 solutions, so let's map this construction. Now the last one, C intersection to C line, a fold that places two points onto two lines. This one we could separate onto different cases, so it's up to your definition to see if it's worth mapping all the cases or not. First, a fold that places a point onto two non-parallel lines. This fold has a single solution. Second, a fold that places two points onto a line. This fold also has a single solution. And third, the most important fold, a fold that places two different points onto two non-parallel lines. This fold can have up to three solutions. With this, we did map all the possible constructions. The last three ones can be considered variations of the last one, and that gives you the seven folding axioms. Thanks for watching this video. See you, bye bye.